Welcome back to Sunless Sea. We are currently in Chelonade and we will be making our way towards the King Eater's Castle next. Of course, via the Untrazy. I noticed there is a spine here. But I don't think the spine is in the Untrazy. Yes, a little bit of a disappointment. Because there is the rib cage in there. I suppose the spine could be a little bit above the level of where the submarine can go, and we're going to ignore the plate. I know. So strange. Such a strange concept. To uh, to run away. Not not really run away, but avoid an enemy. It did hurt us though. Hmm. Okay, is this King Ita's castle? It is, so. Here's the statues as you could see them from under the Z. And what's this black smoke? This sinister ink. I know I'm going around King Eater's castle, but holy shit, what is this? Watchful skull. A vast skull, grotesquely elongated, glowers up at you. Its eye sockets gleam with sharp blue light. Its jaw is long and strong as a ship's bow. Um, we will look into the skull's eye socket. Violent luminescence shines within. You don your diving gear. You place your gloved hands to the bone, peering into the socket as if it were a shop window. Behind the light is darkness. Black stone walls rise, a thousand stone doors, an ancient hunger. In your hands, a knife coral black. Someone writes upon the altar, hooded figures and fold. You draw back from the socket, the light lingers. Okay, is that it? Is that it? Some cryptic things? Okay, what's this? This is, the, this is a different one. Whale bones. The Z has not been kind. The colossal skull is intact, but the body has been reduced to a gnawed frame of bones. Carvings have been scored into the bones. I can examine the engravings, collect unknown toxins or harvest stygian ivory. Let's examine the engravings. Are these inscriptions? Someone has made a palimpsis of the bones. This is not a corpse, but a bone book. A Z voyage is engraved on the skull, from a city at the confluence of three rivers. A woman is at the helm. On the underside of a rib the same image reversed. She returns. An ancient language is scrawled over everything. Someone has attempted to score out the words, but was prevented halfway through or gave up. Okay. There's a lot of interesting things down here. Okay, but this is like the corner of the map already. Okay, we can't go anywhere else. Okay, let's go try to go this way and try not to get into the the whirlpool yes follow the the flow of the water okay let's let's try to break out and surface to king Ether's castle Fascinating. The Unter Z is so fascinating. Okay, I would like to find one of those dreadnoughts up here if I could, but it doesn't seem like there is any lingering nearby. Oh my god, I'm very very low with fuel. Holy shit. Uh let's talk. 
Okay, the king eats his castle. Sacrifice trees, Lele. So castle is hungry, but can heal your flesh. Oh, no thanks. No thanks. Let's just compile a port report. And let me see. Okay, I need to get fuel, and I think I remember that the Gan pole has fuel. I know that sounds strange, but I think they do. There is a shop in the Gan pole. So we're gonna make our way back up this way. We're quite far away from a lot of places. I'm not sure if Vachas has fuel. So we're gonna make our way back to Ganpo. What's this? Uh, ignore them. Yes. Ganpo is nearby. I don't think Chalene has fuel either. Okay, let's dive. I know there's a Talate down here. Maybe I should just kill it when I have fuel. Ah, uh, there it is. I will kill you later. Or well, now. I could kill you now. And then I could send you to Ganpo. And that will progress whatever I can progress over there. We really need to fix the ship when we get back. Okay, there we go, there we go. Then we'll send it directly to Ganpo. I think they want talents anyway. Yeah, let, let the beast go. Yeah, let the beast go. This wound is fatal. It will surely head to the Ganpo. A behemoth goes to die. Yep. Okay. Okay, now we go to the Ganpo. At least it's just a short journey for the Talate. Okay, here, let's assist the fading Haru specs. Okay, the flash reveals all. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we could get some. Okay, let's get let's get some flash for the Chalonaint. Uh, let's speak with her and see if there's any new options. Okay, we do. Um, ask what she seeks down here. There must be something she hopes to find. A painful memory. For years, I considered wither my home. A city where answers are forbidden. It was quite relaxing after more than one lifetime of being expected to have them. But I broke the rules to spare a child's tears, and for that I was cast out. I will return with the fabled question that can only be answered with truth. The Haruspex cackles, resting a hand on your arm. Ah, you think I waste my final years on futile revenge? It is a purpose, a dream. At my age, it is important to have one. Zibalba writhes with living corpses, aspiring to be nothing but dust. My kings do not need another. Who's Zibalba? Okay. I think that's it. What about us about the traveler? Okay, not yet a matter for later. Okay, we still need apprenticeship. We still need recent news for this one. Okay, okay. Okay. Wait, we came here for fuel. Yes, yes. Okay, there it is. I told you they have fuel here. Thirty. I'm set. I'm set. Okay, let's go. And we'll do a quick stop at Chalonate and sell off the flesh. And then we will go to Vartras, I guess.
What is this? The irrepressible? What is this? I have no idea what that is. Okay, it's the whatever it is. It's a ship. It's a very strange looking ship. You have defeated the irrepressible. Cheers reverberate around the bridge. You've done it! The Unterzee's most feared vessel lists and founders. With clouds of multicolored gas escaping through rents in her hull, her stained glass portholes wink and flash like the eyes of a beast. Wounded, but still dangerous. Ah, I can send a boarding party or attempt to detach the Irigo cannon. This will significantly improve your iron if it's not already too high. I can... Let's try this. Attempt to detach the Irigo cannon. Make yourself focus on the shifting hue. It helps if you close one eye and dwell upon a terrible regret. Disarm and dismembered. The tow cables go out and you begin to pull the cannon free. The irrepressible shudders, as though the weapon were being wrenched out from deep in the vessel's quick. The irrigo hue fades from the cannon's mouth as soon as it is free of the hull. The weapon itself is no more than a delivery mechanism, but coiled around the gun is the ammunition, stacked in spiral-shaped racks and lustrous with sickly shades of irigo. With it, your engineer adds a permanent irigo sheen to your own black powder. The gunners pronounce themselves delighted with the new destructive power. They'll just have to ignore the whispering coming from the powder store. Ooh, five iron, nice. Very nice. Okay, what is that? And what is this? There's a shadow here. Ship of Answers. I could go deeper inside the wreck. I think the first time I found the Ship of Answers, they don't let me. But now I can. Interesting. Go deeper inside the rack. The first sweep of your lantern reveals wreckage scattered across the lower deck. Fallen weapons, fallen lives. Captain's log. You uncover a log book buried beneath a pile of racks and water claimed bones. The writing reveals the ship was bound for Scream Shander containing a precious cargo, a brilliant historian's lost work. The log tells of a passenger obtained, a jilly stung chalonate hunter. It describes how he insisted that he be allowed into the cargo hold, of a pitch battle that ensued when he wasn't. Dried stains underfoot tell the rest, the hold remains secure. Breaking it open, you discover a box of bone carvings providing a description of the Chalonid's great turtle and an account of its death. According to this account, the turtle was not hunted, as the Chalonid claim, but was already dead when they found it. This we already know. But there are evidence of it. I see. I have now one cargo of answers. You could deliver the bone carvings to Scream Shander. Ooh, interesting. This is a very strange. Oh, I think this is um, Sacha Town. Yes, it's Shata Sacha Town. Okay, okay. Okay, let's make our way to Vachas from the Untersea. There's something up there. Oh, no, it's just a bit low, but uh. Let's ignore the beloveds. Oh, it's neither? I don't think I've killed a neither yet. 
I think it's stuck there, is it? Oh, oh no. Oh no. A dream of Christmas, the crimson beast of winter towers above you on the snow drowned street. Its sack open wide to receive your offering. I will take all you can give. I will take everything you have. I will take more. Um. Take my wealth. You cannot take it with you. It will buy time. Okay. An offering is made. The sack knows only hunger. You give it your fortunes. You give it your lodgings. You give it your ship. You give it the clothes off your back. You stand naked, homeless, and penniless on the streets of London. And still, Mr. Sachs demands more! You wake in another cold sweat, clutching at sheets, hearing the reassuring hum of a vessel that remains yours for now. Just a dream. It means nothing. 50 echoes. Okay. In my next voyage, I'm heading straight to Avid Horizon. I will be quick with my run this time. And we'll head straight to Avid Horizon because he's demanding more and more. It's going to make my stats next. Okay. Um I'm gonna kill neither. Go a little bit closer. So I could shoot with the other gun because I think it's stuck. I know this seems a little bit cheating. Oh he came out! Too late. You have defeated a neither. It will stop wriggling soon. Soon. Any moment now. Um I can send crew into the carrion slick or continue shining a light upon it. Uh let's continue shining a light upon it. Never trust anything that seems in a hurry to die. Strange currents. You turn the lamp upon the spreading, undulating blackness of its carcass. You can hear the telltale sizzling sound through the hull. Something twinkles within the dark window of the nether as it leeches away. The star spread of a night sky, interrupted by a canopy of leaves. A far-off jungle. Dark fruits and many-fingered figures sway in the trees. You tear yourself from the pothole, and when you look again, it is all gone. Only clear water remains, as true the neither had never been. Okay, extraordinary implications. Interesting. Hey, let's not dilly dally too much. If it's an enemy that we've defeated, we will ignore it. Oh, fuck. Almost forgot. Okay, I guess we will make our way there on the surface. Oh no, a glorious train. Of course, you appear now. Oh, there's a reef over here. Okay, we are actually in somewhat of a peril right now because we are not at the best condition okay okay we got it we got it we actually lost a few crews holy shit You've destroyed a glorious straight knot. The ship is yours! What will you do with her? Scuttle her. Okay. That's it. Uh, a hessian bundle. It clings. A brass glove. Molded flames adorn its fingertips and palms. It bears the inscription. Heat to incandescence before use. A devil's toy, certainly. An implement of torture or a token of affection? I have no idea. Okay, there's a rift down here. Let's try. Is it an abyss? Is it an abyss? That we could go into. An abyss, yes. 
Uh, let's dive. This is the abyss of pyres. Pale fires bubble from fissures in the walls, refracted by willful currents into hypnotic cascades of light that shiver across the interior of your vessel. Saint Brendan's fire, Azalea gasp, the navigator's blessing. Um, I have no idea what this ride does to me though. I need to give up the right of quitting for this, but uh, let's dive deeper. I think this might be the one after the beast, uh, the right of quitting. Okay, deeper still. I lost 10 health. Oh no. Okay, um, perform the ritual of hearts. The church's tympanum depicts pilgrims passing through open doors and into fire. Their expressions are ambiguous. Are they suffering or exalting? Yeah, because the pilgrims passing through open doors. So this is after they pass through the door and into fire. This should be it. You don your diving gear. Kilns line the floor above you, all bricked up. But at the end of the nave, a violent fire playfully licks out of a kiln. The firing chamber is just large enough to accommodate you. It is blisteringly hot. Nevertheless, you commend yourself to the fires. Your suit preserves your flesh from burning, but the flames search for a way in. They press against your helmet's glass, blinding you. They seep through, searing you. They dance across your face and spread. As the last part of you is engulfed, the flame dies. The kiln goes dark. You swim to your submarine. The sea is not as cold as it was. Are you still what you were? You have purified yourself. Okay, okay, let's go back up. Let's depart. Okay, we're gonna ignore that. We're gonna go back up and we're gonna go Vachas directly. That is what we are going to do. The Anthrosy might be a little bit too dangerous. Oh, 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 oh. Do we want to fight this? We'll, we'll go carefully with this one. Melina Bat. Oh, oh, oh. They notice us. Heal. Okay, they they hit decently hard. Okay, we killed them, we killed them. Whoa. Um you've destroyed the Melina bats. A bat swarm, Madam Doctor, but they are, I assure you. Feathered. Blue feathers, Madam Doctor. Tremendous feathers. No, Madam Doctor. Not proportionate. Not indeed. I suspect the bats of theft, Madam Doctor. No. I have not touched a bottle since Tuesday last. No, Madam Doctor. Not the whole. Not the... Mm-hmm. I can scavenge the bat feathers. Are these, in fact, feathered mammals? I could get up the corpses for cooking of course or dispose of the corpses let's scavenge the bat feathers Erzat's plumage they look very like parrot feathers but they have been glued to the bats by the bats themselves by some unknown bat farmer with an avian grudge the answers remain mysterious but at least you can sell the feathers in london or in khan's heart Ah, 17 royal blue feathers and gain one Z story. Oh, are they like a one of a kind, like a mob in the Anthracy? I doubt it is, but an interesting thought. Okay, but we're now back in Vachas.
Returning to Vachas, indeed. Compot, port, report. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's continue your explorations. Let's go to the Temple of Meher this time. I think we are only missing... Wait, we have every... No, the Agni Hotri's interest. Yeah, this one I haven't got, I think. The Temple of Meher, it lies in the sacred district at the center of Vachas. The Temple of Meher, the temple tower pierces through the city's heart taller than the other four towers which stand at each of the cardinal points. Around the temple sprawls the sacred district, vine-covered stone shrines, steel ponds glowing with algae and flesh-fin carp, priests in white, their wrists heavy with metal chains. There are no mirrors in the temple of Mihir. The rest of the city has to make do with mirrored lights and reflection, but Mihir's most sacred space is filled with hundreds of lamps and lit candles of hard-packed phosphorescent fungus. Okay, there's a few things I could do here. Wait, what's this? Blue scintillite. How much more will they pay for this treasure? For the blue scintillite. The priests chatter excitedly. You bargain hard. And by the end of the process, they have to send a junior seer down to the outer treasure chambers. She returns with a gorgeous pectoral of feathers, amber, and carved basalt. From the mountain, she whispers. Again, five outlandish artifacts are one captivating treasure. <gasps> Holy! Can I do that some more? Wait, I can still do it. I don't think there's any other use for the blue scintillite because I've already given one to the first curator. I want to keep one to myself, so I'm going to give you two more. Yes, that's a pretty good deal. That's a pretty good deal. Okay, uh, I think we can do just one more thing since we already done that twice. Let's listen to the mantras. In Vachas, the sun still shines, calls the sun priest in the way of an invocation. The assembled temple goers raise their voice in well-worn reply. In Vachas, the sun still shines. The sun priest pitches a voice so it echoes off the fire-warm stones of the temple and reverberates through the tower. Mihir look away from us, and Vachas fell, she intones. Now we light our city like a beacon, so Mihir may find us once more. Okay. There's the bass reliefs. Every surface of the temple is carved and worked. If you peer closer, the bass reliefs depict Vachas fall into the need. Oh, you're also from the surface. Interesting. In the first panel, Mihir is depicted as the sun, beaming rays of thinly hammered gold onto a surface city both peaceful and prosperous. The five towers are carved with loving detail, barely recognizable without the reeds of fungal flowers and curling vines. In the next panel, Mihir blinks and the city turns to shards of onyx and jet, slowly crumbling away. Mihir then becomes a broad-shouldered, sorrow-faced man stalking the false star blackness of the Neath in search of his lost city. His eyes are picked up in orange-red carnelian and seem lit with inner fire. Vachas, as it is now, is conspicuously absent from the carvings, as if the stone covers could not bear to chip its fallen outlines. Interesting. Is that it? Wait. Hey, they kicked me out. Strange. Can I continue? Yeah, it's night, so we have to go to the inn. Okay, we will... Let's go to the kitchens. 
I've lost Menace's wounds. Nice, nice. And then let's don't sleep. Yep, gain five terror, but that's fine. Dawn in Vacha, then we leave. Yep, yep. Okay. So let's go. We are going to Adam's Way. I'm not sure we could enter Adam's Way since we don't have stuff. We can get a port report in Adam's Way and head towards port chameleon or I go. We could stop we could stop by I go. I wonder if there's any Unter Z ports around this area. We could dive and check, I guess. Okay. Let's explore a little bit. We do need supplies, so we will kill stuff. You're caught in... Okay, can you... you can't, can't get out, can't get out. Oh no, oh no, no, no. We do need supplies. Okay, there we go. So many glowing things? Uh... Carve the bounding up for provisions. It does, after all, resemble tuna. An oversized tuna stuffed into a knot of metal. A taste test. You break the cage open. As you split the corpse, tangles of gut burst out. There is a reek of oil and vinegar. Your nearest assistant rushes, coughing from the hole. Is the flesh worth storing? You need a taster. The crewman you volunteer complains of the fish flesh moving in his stomach. The texture, however, is succulent but crunchy, like well-cooked prawn. Not bad. Okay, we will fling the unprocessing, unprepossessing mass aboard, as usual. Okay, let's get this. Torpedo components, we'll get that, whatever that is. Supplies, nice. Okay, let's go north. Let's go north a little bit and see if there's anything up here except I know the eye is a little bit northeast of here. Let me check. Now we're going towards the eye. Okay, let's go this way. Suspiciously quiet. Suspiciously so. Okay, we're very near Adam's way. Okay, there's a glowing thing here. He's surrounded by the red thing. No entry point from this way. Some more glowy things here. Things to collect? Hmm. Let's check this one. Please tell me we have an entryway somewhere. Okay, on the other side. Try not to bump into the walls. Okay, let's go like that. Fuel. Not sure if that's worth it, but... It is what it is. There's only I go to the west of here. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, okay, we have to go up anyway. That's fine. Okay. Let's stop at Adam's Way. I'm not. I don't think we can get in, but let's at least get a port report. Yep, I have no recent news, no unread log, and no port report of Mount Palmerston. Yep, I can't even get a port report. Eh, oh well. 
Okay, we shall go to... Let's go kill some blue prophets for revenge. For revenge from killing me in my one game. My most hated enemies. I'm going to kill you guys. I'm going to kill you. You killed me once. Yeah, I hate you guys for it. Don't try to run away, you little, you little shits. They still hurt. They still fucking hurts. Holy shit, they might kill me again. Okay. Finally, I got my revenge. You've destroyed the Blue Prophets. A mortal battle against pirates. That's the Elder Continent for you. I can recover feathers from the Prophets or record their cries. The Prophets speak the names of those about to die. In truth, most of the sounds they make are more squawk than word. But perhaps you can glean something from the dying birds if you listen carefully. Names you know? Faces you remember? Perhaps. Again, terror and gain tail of terror. Okay. Revenge is mine. Also, we should not fight anymore. We really shouldn't fight anymore. I seem to remember there might be more blue prophets here. Hopefully not. Okay, let's make our way to Blue Kalina, uh, to Port Kalina. Sixty-six hull. That's very, very close. Too close. Too close. Let's dive. Let's explore a little bit underneath here. If there's anything interesting. I don't think there's a underwater port that is attached to the edge of the map. Okay, we are like right above Let's let's check these two bubbles. Oh, wait, it's just a bounding. It's stuck. Yeah, might as well kill it, I guess. Are you are you stuck? We could get supplies from it. It's not much supplies, but it's something. I'm fairly low with supplies. What about the other glowing thing? There's a lot of glowing things. Provisions, two supplies. Thing in the board, yes. What are the two other? This one moves. Is it a beloved? It's a neither. What's that weird sound? <laughs> it's, I think it's stuck. Holy shit, I think it's stuck. Okay, let's let's get this. Uh, let's send crew into the Karen Lake. The body is liquefying and spreading. Soon it will be nothing but a swirl of shadowed water. If you want to search the remains, you must act now. Three crews. I lost two crew. Holy shit. The bends, of course, there's no way that you could actually hear the shouts. Not through the airlock. The hull, the yards of water, never mind the crew members who swore that they could hear every shriek and whimper of the divers you sent out into the corpse water. And besides, from what you saw, there wasn't time for screaming. The dark slick gathered around their diving suits, enfolding them into a cloak. You glimpsed one terror 
contorted face through the glass of the helmet as they were bundled up in darkness, and then it was over. Only a little flotsam remained. The water was clear, as though the neither had never been. Okay, I have no idea what neithers are. They are just black water. I have no clue. Okay, another neither. I'm not gonna ignore that one. Ignore it. Because that one swims free. Oh, another skull. Interesting. Uh, let's not interfere this time. It is, after all, a vast skull with an eerie light in its eyes. There is relief laughter when you give the order to depart. The uncharted depths are infinitely preferable to poking about the monstrous skulls of the long dead. Okay, so it's not just something that is near King Ether's castle, it's... The skull are everywhere. Okay, okay. We are discovering more and more of the unturned CP. So for now, let's go back to... Fort Carnelian. We need supplies and we need fuel and... I don't think we can fix our ship here, but we will try not get killed. We are back at the Port Carnelian. Okay, let's see. Let's go get a port report first. I think we did Hearts Cross House, the Blue Bazaar. So let's call at the room above a bookshop. The diplomats of the Canade were expelled from Port Carnelian following the Galatea incident. Only one remains behind. Not in any official capacity, you understand. Off the record, no, I'm retired now, he tells you cheerfully. His crockery is white as the moon and rimmed with gold. Over tea, he comments sympathetically on the governor's difficulties. I feel for the man, I really do. And ask probing questions regarding your travels. You manage to squeeze in a few of your own. Oh, the Khan is very fond of sapphires. Blue is his favorite color. We've got poor reports. Uh, let's fulfill my spy's needs. I have romantic literature for you. Here. In addition to the tiger's library, the governor relies on a cadre of docile native tigers to act as intermediaries with their fellows. One of them has a weakness for pot boilers. Miss Jenny's diary. The tiger is pleased. He asks you to read from one of the more explicit volumes. An hour later, he rumbles, One more chapter. For the third time, lazily flexing his claws. Okay, I've gained one network in Port Chameleon. Okay, what does the spy need now? Echoes, money buys secrets. 33% or an elucidation. An asset once forthcoming has grown reticent. A cautionary tale. You tell the asset who perspires appropriately of the bloody rites conducted in Storm's template at Chalonate. How they are always looking for celebrants, willing or otherwise. The requirements are meager, bones to break, a voice to scream. Your asset is eager to change the subject. Here come the secrets they owe you, gushing like spray from a cracked drain pipe. Okay. Threatening them to stay here, huh? Okay, how do I improve my network? A diplomatic agent. I do have that. On a platter, your agent's opening gambit is to find, chart, and usurp an existing network. It belonged to a surface spy. An agent of Russia. His interrogation was tedious, headed with tales of a damp St. Petersburg childhood. Ah, Ru there's a Russian spy down here. Interesting. 
Okay, what else do you need, my spy? A judgment's egg. This is extremely rare. Or an offering to the bandit prince. Scary enigma. This is very hard to get as well. Okay, let's seek another opportunity. Yes. Thank you. Okay, let's see what you need now. Bait. A rival agent besets your network. You need to draw them out. Uh, two secrets. No way I'm giving you my secrets. For spies network. Let's try this. I succeeded. Holy shit. 24%. Uh, you sit together at pantomime. Yeah, this is the same one. Okay, my networks in Port Carnelian is now six. Holy shit. Okay, what else do you need? More romantic literature. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. Let's... Influence affairs in Port Carnelian. Your network's influence over the colony is extensive. How will you use it? Oh, influence affairs in Port Canadian. You have an opportunity to guide the fate of London's far-flung colony. I can shore up the governor's rule, insert Canadian agents into key positions, or broker an alliance of tigers. Huh. If I shore up. The governor's rule, Port Cadillan is a vital part of her enduring majesty's dominions, and so it shall remain. If I insert Canadian agents into key positions, there are other empires. The broker and alliance of tigers, they are after all the rightful rulers of the Cadillan coast. Oh, I need to use my vital intelligence for this. Okay, I'm not going to do it this time maybe next time something to think about i might look into that actually let's also do this warn the adventurers of wreck there's a hullabaloo in murgatroyd's imperial tea shop young adventurers celebrate an upcoming expedition they are planning to sail over wreck you buy them crumpets and they happily let you join them you're a captain, aren't you? asked a sailor, stealing his neighbor's crumpet. Have you ever sailed out that way? Anything you can tell us? Yes, you know the place. The sea is calm there. It is dark, like all the neath. But there are lights beneath the waves, red and white distractions, to keep you from noticing the explosive mines. Hulls break there. Sailors die. The adventurers fall silent, dispirited. They head home. The next day, you delivered a heavy purse from thankful mothers. Sometimes, justice has its rewards. Nice. 29 echoes. <sighs> so cheap. I think that's all we could do here. <laughs> Is this an abyss? Ooh, an abyss. Let's dive. Oh, it's the abyss of graves. Shelves have been cut into the rock walls. Some are large enough to hold ancient waterlogged ships, crusted with long dead barnacles. Others are smaller, holding pairs of clay coffins and a smattering of grave goods. Jugs and bowls. Okay, if we dive deeper. The Ritual of Soleil. Procession of statues lines the sea floor. 
Pacing away from the church, they carried coffins on their shoulders. Their march ends at a precipice, descending into further abyss. This feels like the final ritual. This feels suspiciously like the final ritual. So... I'm not going to do this. It's locked anyway. Okay, let's go out. Let's depart. Isn't this abyss the abyss of pomegranates? We found two. The one down south is the last one. So this is the third one. Yes, the abyss. Dive. Uh, dive deeper. Perform the ritual of feasting. A fresco adorns the church's frontage. Burned pilgrims supplicate themselves before a woman's upturned hands. Oysters grow in her palms. Will you enter the church in search of communion? Dawn your diving gear at the end of the upturned nave. Gigantic stone feet are firmly planted on the floor above you. You swim down toward the ceiling, following the legs until you come to a pair of cupped hands. Growing out of the feminine palms is an oyster of preposterous enormity. It opens at your approach. You enter. It closes around you and drains of water, allowing you to remove your diving helmet. Not that there's a reason to continue wearing it. Your air holes is severed. <sighs> The oyster is heavy with grey, slimy meat. Its flesh is succulent. Juice sprays with each bite. When you finish, you tie off your air hose and don your helmet. You take a deep breath and swim back to your submarine. Okay, okay let's go back up. Okay. Go back up as in to the surface as well because we're back in London. Okay. We are back. We are back. Ah, the familiar music. Whoops. Uh, let them do their worst. I don't think I have any of this. Will they take my mirror catch box? Yes. Yes. Okay, collect messages from Huddle Master. The blind bruiser attends to business on the dock, okay? What do you want now? Take a payment across the ocean, okay? Where? Gaither's Morn. I'm definitely going to Gaither's Morn next. Okay, I'll do this for you. Okay. Do we have any new port reports for the Admiral? I think we do. Um, not much, but there's Dahut. Oh, the Admiral collects these. Do you ask a drowny to marry you? Okay. Is that it? 
Oh, let's sell the red honey to the brass embassy. Sell a shipment of red honey to the brass embassy. Maybe it'll wean them off souls? Worth a try for the price they are paying. Ah, delicious. I think I smell a memory of innocence in this one. No, it's despair. They have a similar bouquet, you know. 999 echoes. Nice, nice. I actually have two, don't I? Let's get this. Honey at the crossroads. Wait here, the instructions say, wear a crimson feather in your hat. Also for the fragrance of red honey. Oh, only 900 echoes. The brass embassy is better. It's been a while since we visited our home. Uh, how do I get there again? Oh, your lodgings. Visit your study. A private sanctuary. You probably can make a lot of these things now, isn't it? Yeah. So we can create an anatomical cabinet. We have learned so much. Now create an object lesson that will guide you in the destruction of your enemies. The process of creating the cabinet will increase your iron by 7. And the cabinet is an auxiliary item worth further 7 iron. Nice. Okay, 7 secrets. For 7 permanent buff is pretty good. A conversation piece. In the Cheerio Watchers, Zaylers will gather around it and point out scars, quirks, deformities. Mugs of grog in hand, they will discuss the remains as art critics in a Veil Garden gallery might discuss competent paintings. Okay, okay 7 iron, nice. Okay, we can also do this. A serene aquarium. Live specimen. Okay. Uh, a crown will increase mirrors by 7. You know the secrets of this peculiar specimen. Construct an environment that will display it to best advantage. Mysterious motions. Watch this ictit enigma traverse the tank. Its motions are subtle and elegant. They induce tranquility. Perhaps too. They reveal divinatory truths. Okay. What else can I make? A monstrous almanac. Seven outlandish artifact. Increase your pages by seven. You could fill whole shelves of notebooks with what you've learned of the Z. Its monsters, its treasures, its secrets and so you will. A distillation of treasures. The most complex truths evade easy revelation. One must track them, harry them, cage them. They may be caged only by ink wrung from the vines of treasures. To record these truths, I must grind these treasures for ink. They will call me eccentric, they will call me the range, but they will never call me ignorant. Nice. Okay. A whispering trophy case. Seven strange catch. Okay, I will I will aim for this. This is for veils. Yeah, veils is my weakest right now. Okay, what's this? Adorn your lodgings with captivating treasures. No, this is more like a wielding. Hmm. Convert a collection of outlandish artifacts into an heirloom. That one is for the wheel as well. I don't have... Um, I don't, I'm not going to have kids, so there's no point. Write the Zong of the Z. Ooh. Dread Surmise. Iron Port Report. King Ether Castle Port Report. Khan's Heart. Mount Palmerston. What's the seal? 40 secrets! Holy shit! 77 Tale of Terror 77 Z Story 77 Memory of Distance Shores Whispering Trophy Case Okay Okay, I haven't, haven't gotten the Whispering Trophy Case yet I have a few of these 
Okay, this is for retirement. I don't think I will be creating the Song of the Sea. Unless I'm close to ending at that point. Okay, let's head out for now.